Good morning and welcome back YouTube. It is Sunday, July 23rd, 5.07 a.m. The car says hi. I'm on a 30 minute break at HelloFresh. Um, at HelloFresh Last Mile, which is their delivery unit. Doing something a little different here tonight. Um, and it was a little bit different last time. Last time I was here, we had a whole bunch of routes for some kind of subcontractor app thing. I forget what the hell it was called. Uh, tonight we're not doing that. Tonight, though, we've got four different routes for Tucson, which I didn't know we handled Tucson. I've never seen us handle Tucson before, which has me curious what's up with that. I mean, not like it's my problem. I mean, my job is sorting out the boxes. I was told about Tucson when I got here, and I was like, yeah, show me the label. <laughs> show me the label. I, I want to know exactly. He's like, oh, you'll see it when you see it when you see it. And I'm like, no, show me one. I want to know exactly what I'm looking for so I know exactly what it is when I see it. And, and so he found me one. And to be fair, it was kind of obvious, but I've had so many people tell me things will be obvious and maybe obvious to them, not obvious to me. So, um, yeah, the Tucson stuff were palletizing. I'm not quite sure how they handled the scanning process. At one point where I came in and he was scanning them in the stacked pallets, which was kind of bothering me because I'm pretty finicky about the way I palletize stuff and they seemed a little too uneven. I was like, well, presumably somebody's going to need to scan those two around and, and probably even if the pallets then. So I just tried to make sure that they were stable as I was stacking the Tucson rounds on the pallets. I'm not entirely sure how he sorted out the scanning. When I was like, am I messing it up? He's like, you're good. Just pile them on there. I'm like, oh, okay. I did scan the last shift I was here. I didn't like it. And I've done plenty of scanning before. I mean, I scan everything that I move at Williams-Sonoma Furniture and I've had scanner access for a long time at Amazon. In fact, it was kind of a... You know what? I think I want to move QT. Actually, no, I want to go to Circle K. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I want to go to Circle K. It's after five, so hopefully I won't have to deal with random locked doors during alleged business hours. So yeah, I had scanner access for a long time at Amazon. I remember one night it came in really, really handy because it was after I had had my first suspension, or was it my second suspension? Anyway, it was not long after I'd gotten suspended from, from pit driving. We went right back to being a water spatter on the inbound docks, and occasionally we will do outbound loads on the uh, inbound docks. It's not very often, but occasionally it would happen there. And we were doing one because everything was NPC and it was all grouped together. I forget what zone it is, what it was in. I know it was awfully, in fact, I think it was where I generally kept the wood pallets, which made it kind of in the way for me specifically. But it just so happened that the, the hold up on it was that there was nobody in the department with scanner access that could scan it into the truck. And I'm like, pretty sure I still have scanner access. They're like, well, weren't you suspended? I said, I'm suspended from driving a pit. I doubt anybody bothered to check my scanner access. And sure as shit, my scanner access was good to go. So that was that was kind of a random night <laughs> where I kind of saved the day in inbound. Um, I legit still really miss working over at GYR3 with Amazon. But uh, I'm loving it over here at, at what is my third shift at HelloFresh Last Mile. And the way they do the scanners, I would enjoy it with the exact same software if I was using a Zebra scanner. But they've got the scanner on these Android phones that are in obnoxious cases and it's just super awkward to use. Anyway, I'm only on a 30 minute break. I have a limited amount of time. I'm running inside to get my sip and save drink and see if I can uh, get some food with my EBT card. Oh, I sure hope I can. That would be awesome. And it just doesn't seem to matter anymore which Circle K I go to. They're always slipping in one way or another. This one here, one third of the soda fountain is dead. At least I was able to get my sip and save Mountain Dew. So I suppose all's well that ends well. Although did it really end well? Because the entire Circle K is out of straws. 
So I'm crossing my fingers that I can find a straw somewhere in this car or somewhere in the HelloFresh break room. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take the lid off and drink out of it directly with my mouth like some kind of a savage. Um, the coolers where the prepared sandwiches would normally be and microwave burritos, that sort of thing, they're all broken. So they don't have any of that kind of product, which is what I really wanted. Something that I could eat at work. I'm using the term real food kind of loosely, but you know, a sandwich or a wrap or a, or a burrito, just something. Hell, even a salad. Um, no, nope, nothing like that in the entire store. And as for the hot and ready food, which I wasn't really looking to get anyway, because that's not covered with the EBT card. Um, yeah, they don't have any of that. And I asked him about that. He's like, oh, it'll start down to 6 a.m. Really? Why the hell not? The store was busy, by the way. Not like busy, busy, but, you know, busy. I ended up getting two things, of peanut butter and cheese crackers. They say it's some kind of promotional price for saved on getting two significantly over the price of just purchasing one. And they used to always have that going on with the Circle K branded chips. Apparently they don't, so I just grabbed one bag. At least I got, whoa, it's an awkward place for a cyclist to be. At least I got something to eat, because I'm, I'm definitely starting to get, get some hunger pains. It's quite a while since. Got a couple slices of pizza, of uh, the pizza that Priscilla had me go get, and one pepperoncini off the salad. Um, so she fed me a little bit, but yeah, that was several hours ago, and I'm starting to get get hungry again and I burn so many calories doing this work here it's very physical work so there's a new person here whom I'm assuming is from Winolo based on the fact that she came in at 3 I came in at 2 30 one point she asked me what time I came in I said uh, and, and and I had to think about it because I've always come in at different times here it's like no you were here when I got here I came in at 3 Anyway, I haven't caught her name, but she is absolutely stunning. Um, it's unbelievable seeing somebody that completely gorgeous working here. She's uh, got an accent that I can't quite place, but sounds South American, not Mexican. So... Um, and I could be completely wrong on that. God knows I got, uh, got uh, Emmanuel's accent completely wrong. Cause me and another guy were debating where he was from and said, I think he's French. And I'm like, nah, that doesn't sound like a French accent to me. And sure as shit, dude was from France. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not always right on that sort of thing. I, I hardly talk to her just about Remember. what time I came in. But uh, yeah, so I finished sorting all the boxes. Basically there's three major phases of this job. There's the taking all everything off the pallets and sorting them. And there's other people that, that scan them and label them. I'm not trained to do that and uh, that's fine. I got more than enough work to just sort them and put them into the racks. And then they need to be scanned into the racks, which I did that my second day. I absolutely did not like doing it. And I was so glad to just break off from that and go to loading trucks. And then that's the final phase is loading everything in the trucks, which is really physical and really fast paced. But I, I really enjoy it. Like I look at it this way. I, I don't I don't have to pay for a gym membership as long as I got this this side here. Um, looking for a straw. Don't have one. The side pocket on the passenger door. I highly doubt. Hey, wow, well, there's my Android 4. I totally forgot it was inside the glove box. Still missing Obama phone 4. I am kind of starting to stress about that. I figured it would have turned up by now and it hasn't. Anyway, I'm going back inside. Kind of hoping to get to know this other Winolo because she's absolutely gorgeous and seems fairly unpretentious and she seems like she's into music she did stop and play with her phone a lot during the shift which is kind of a red flag to me uh i've actually been listening to my my little uh forklift speaker you know speaker that i used to listen to on the forklift from amazon and it's been pretty awesome because i hit the point in the uh, sd card where all my prints was so i'm just jamming along to prints for like the last hour hour and a half it was kind of funny. The manager came by. He goes, your shorts are singing. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, isn't it great? And he's like, 
It's fucking disturbing. <laughs> it's kind of locked off. He didn't tell me I couldn't do it though. So I mean, there's usually music on in there, and there is the music on. It's been it's been all over the board. What's been playing on the speaker, but it's clear at the opposite side of the warehouse from where I'm working. So you know, speakers in my pocket, just playing my jams, and the really gorgeous woman. She's been. Uh, I think she's just playing music off her phone, off a phone speaker. I can only hear it when I get really close to her. I'm surprised she can hear it over the noise of the warehouse working in there. But most of the guys wear earbuds. I uh, and I'm sure I could get away with it, but eh, I like the little forklift speaker. And I also like to be able to hear when people talk to me and have something to say while I'm working. It's really frustrating to me when I ask somebody a question that I'm working with in a warehouse and they don't hear me because they got fucking earbuds in. On that note. I'm heading back in. I still got a good solid 10 minutes on my break, so I'm going to try to get myself back in the break room and find a straw since for some reason that Circle K can't seem to keep straws in stock. Like, how hard is it to order enough of that sort of stuff? I mean, that's like one of those things, as somebody who's done food service management before, that it should be a complete no-brainer because just overstock on it. Especially if you get a point where you, where there's a drop in the price, like get as much as you can squeeze into your storeroom because straws don't go bad. As long as you got room to store them in the back room, you, you can't have too many straws. But it's pretty shitty for your customers when you run out.